Good morning everybody, I'm Jennifer Adams with Okaloosa County Tourist Development. I'm here today at Crystal Beach with Division Chief Joe D'Agostino from Destin Fire District. That's correct. Right? Um, we're going to talk today about public safety. The, obviously it's such an important, important topic and how uh, the tourist development tax dollars work in conjunction with Joe and his team. We actually pay for some of his services. Joe, just talk about the partnership that we've had over the couple of years. Yeah, absolutely. It's a fantastic partnership. Um, the vast majority of our funding does come from TDD, um, Tourist Development Council dollars, so there's not a lot of ad valorem or property right. tax dollars used for this. Um, and it's been fantastic. Um, for the 6.7 miles of beach that we've covered, we've made a very big change in the 17 years that I've been here. Um, we had all those drownings years ago, and now it's almost something of the past. Right, and so l let me just get into the weeds a little bit. Um, in the state statute, there are only three counties, Okaloosa, Walton, and Bay, that can use up to 10% of their total collections to fund public safety. And so, you know, listen, it's not enough. If I could do more, that's why when we grow tourism, it's great for me because we get to go and give more to public safety. So what we do every year is we get all the public safety entities together and we talk about the best use of those money. So talk about some of the services that you specifically cover. Oh my goodness. We've, uh, <laughs> for the peak of summer, yeah. for Memorial Day, yeah. just about Labor Day, just before Labor Day, we have lifeguard chairs. There's one just over here. There's one here at this park that will have some Someone serviced here for nine to ten hours of the day. Um, we'll have roving patrols throughout the entire season, right. which starts in March and ends uh, November 1st or October 31st this year. And then all the services now that we're providing at Noriego Point, as well as Crab Island, right. a right. huge recreation area um, that's in my 10 or sorry, 17 years that I've been here in the last 10 years, the popularity of the East Pass and Crab Island, and now that they've refurbished Noriega Point, it's incredible the amount so of people recreating. You're on the sand, absolutely you're in the water. Absolutely. And talk about the importance of the flags and knowing what the flags mean. Yeah, you know, uh, sometimes people get a bit disappointed that we have red flag or double red flag right. conditions. I would love to control the weather, but we can't. No. It's all weather related. We want our visitors to go home so that they can come back again. That's so, so important. We never want to be the fun police. The fun police, it's, do you know how hard it is for me to tell someone they can't go to I swim? Know. I would rather come out here on a yellow flag day and lean against this pickup truck just like we're doing right now. But those days are a tremendous amount of work for our lifeguards. We know we're disappointing people, but we don't want people to drown. It's so, so important. Right. And so we encourage you when you come out to the beach or even before you, you know, you come to the beach, try to find out what the flags are. If you come down to the beach, talk to our lifeguards. That, that's what they're here Absolutely. for. Absolutely. Yes, they're patrolling, but they're here to educate. And if you have questions, Joe's always around. We're around. And let us know if you have questions and we'll tell you how tourism works for Okaloosa.